The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looking to continue his dominance in WWE. Competing at his highest level, striving for the main event, and the biggest prize. Success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. of making up for lost time. Drew has taken titles and main events by force. McIntyre has remained laser focused on striking down adversary after adversary. Yeah, and McIntyre's intensity is always off the charts. Drew McIntyre is ready for war. Capitalize. 
Yeah, easier said than done because the competition is now at an all-time high. Is being the best in the world still good enough? In elimination matches, a pretty unique match type where every fall changes the complexion of the match. Ready to get this started, we see Cody Rhodes, Drew McIntyre, and CM Punk. These superstars have their work cut out for them here. You're going to have to go through multiple superstars to get the win, though the only one that truly matters is the last one. McIntyre gets met with a response. Trying to put them away, able to counter, counter with a vicious clothesline. And he's taking this to the outside now. And it seems like you have to be at least a little sadistic to be victorious in an ODQ match. Oh, come on, Cole, it's not about being sadistic, it's about being smart. There's no safety net and no disqualification match, and that's a big factor in succeeding. There's nothing sadistic about it. Rhodes turns it around. To the body. I don't know what they're looking for here. Talk about dismantling your opponent. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. Moved at the right time. Ooh, whoa. Elbow on the spot. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. And he's able to counter. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. He, he thinks he has it. Gets the shoulder up after one. He's far from finished. He's burying elbows in the midsection. to escape the attack. Oh, I've caught him. Uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pedigree. Cover. There's two. Fights out at two. Now you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Saw that one coming. And what a maneuver we just saw there. The fight got taken straight to McIntyre there. Scoop slam, making it look easy. Cody Rhodes hooks him up for crossroads. Drew with cause for concern. Is it enough? The cover! Two! No! My, that was close. I'm stunned, utterly stunned at the guts Drew McIntyre is showing us right now. Rhodes hopes for victory dash for the time being. He won't settle for long. Caught in a bad position here. Ooh, has to shot to the throat. Shoulders down! No, stops the count at two. Really had less than a second. Play and possum! Shoulders down! And an effective pin. Are you kidding me? Not even a one count. Nice sit-out powerbomb. Off the rope. There he goes, right into the corner. And that's what we call the tree of woe position, folks. Oh, look at this. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Taking this outside. This could be good. Oh, boy, come on, not the chair. And McIntyre is showboating right now. No way! Somersault plancha to the floor. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for your own well-being. Oh man, right to the skull. Crucial counter into the pile driver. Powerbomb position. 
Throwing down punches and counters out. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, and a chair shot delivered. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Suicide dive. That is the end. Buck plants him with a Uranagi. Seamless transition, wasting no time. Anaconda Vice is cinched in. I'm going to tap out here. And watch this. Letting him free. Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. Rhodes letting his opponent know who's in charge. We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can give is being brought to the table. And he gets set back into the ring. Thrown back in under the ropes. Cody looking to wrap this one up. Cody looking to end this. Crossroads. Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. Three. That's all it takes. Cover. Two. Three. No. This is insanity. Did you expect anything less? Bob hoisting up his opponent. Looking to finish him here. Go to sleep. Glad I put my money on that guy tonight. The cover. Has his opponent to the face, Rhodes. Rhodes just turned the lights out. Cover two. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. Unbelievable. I thought Punk was done for sure. Never underestimate the resiliency of the second city set. Looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. Uh-oh, sweet dreams coming. Go to sleep. And that may end the American nightmare. What in the world? The resilience on display from Cody Rhodes is a common occurrence that never gets old. Punk took his best shot, gave him everything he had, but just couldn't get the pin. Listen to this crowd. What a feeling. And these superstars are feeling it, too. He manages to escape it. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Rose tied that one. Ouch! Chair in hand, bad intentions in mind. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Piercing. Puck never saw that coming. Brain Buster. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. Cody Rose has his opponent right where he wants it. There's Crossroads. This one has to be over. That's gotta be it. There's two. Superstar in this match. I cannot even imagine how.